Welcome to Politely Honest Podcast. This is episode three. I'm your host, Dozy, and I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Today, I want to talk about pretty privilege and how it can hurt women, right? We all know how pretty privilege can help women. First of all, I want to preface this by saying I am not opposed to women using their pretty privilege for experiences. I want y'all to use it for the softest life that you possibly can. You want to use it for trips, uh, uh, experiences, VIP sections, uh, bags, shoes, whatever you want to use it for. That's great. This is what I am saying, though. While you are using that pretty privilege to have a good time, be sure that you use it to secure a husband. Now, let me say this as well. This this is for women who want marriage or a husband. If you're one of those women like, oh, I don't believe in marriage, I don't want a husband, just skip this whole episode. It's not for you, right? This episode is for pretty women who want a husband. While you out here using your pretty privilege for all of these good things and all of these great experiences, my advice to you, be sure to use that pretty privilege to secure a husband while you still have it. While you still have that leverage, it makes no sense to wait till you lose your pretty privilege. You gain 150 pounds and you're not commanding the type of attention that you once could. And now you're looking for a husband because guess what? Now you don't have the leverage to get the type of man that you could, you, you could have back then. You understand what I'm saying? Like, do not let the fun that you're having right now ruin the goals that you have for yourself in the future. I'm going to say that again. Don't let the fun that you're having today ruin the goals that you have for yourself tomorrow, right? So while you out here, you having fun, you're getting in the VIP sections for free, you're getting flued out, you're getting put on yachts, you're getting put on pe- on private jets, you, you're getting um, bags, you're getting Chanel, you're getting Birkins, you're getting shoes. Make sure you secure a husband. Make sure you secure the kind of husband that you want while you still have that leverage. The problem that a lot of women make is they're too busy having fun that they forget that they want a husband in the future. And so they wait. They wait till their pretty privilege runs out. And then they start looking for a husband. Do not waste your pretty. You got to know when to, just like the stock market, you know when to, gotta know when to buy and you got to know when to sell. You know when to sell when you're at your peak, right? You sell to the highest bidder when you're at your peak. Don't get... What's the word? Offended by the words that I'm using. I know I'm I'm saying buy and sell. I don't mean that in a literal term. The point that I'm trying to make here is when you have what the market wants, when you have that pretty privilege, right, you can command a certain type of attention. Therefore, you have the leverage to demand a certain type of man. If you if you got a whole bunch of stuff on your list, I want to do to six feet, make six figures and all this stuff. When you that type of pretty, you can probably get that. But if you wait until all of that beauty you got runs out, you wait till you just, you know, you something of, of, a, of a cautionary tale before you start looking for a husband, you're, you, you can't get those type of men anymore. You understand what I'm saying? So it doesn't make any sense. I saw this once. Somebody posted something to the effect of, why does it seem like um, unattractive women find husbands quicker than attractive women. And I don't think that's the case at all. I don't think unattractive women find husbands quicker than attractive women. I think unattractive women allow themselves to be courted quicker than the women who have pretty privilege because the women who have pretty privilege are out here having a ball. They out here having fun and that's fine. Like again, I said it, I'm all for women having a good time. Enjoy your pretty privilege. When I go out, I want the prettiest women in our section and all of that. So like, Listen, I encourage pretty privilege. I'm simply saying, while you're having fun, while you're enjoying your pretty privilege, be sure to secure a husband because you don't want the day to come where you start wishing you had access to those type of men and you no longer do. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want that day to come when you're like, damn, yo, I remember when I was this and that and I could do this and I can't do that stuff anymore and you have nothing to show for it but a bunch of, you know, Uh, uh, luxury pieces from seven seasons ago you understand what i'm saying you don't want that to be you you want to when you gotta you gotta as my mother would say you gotta strike while the iron's hot whatever (laughs) but you know what i'm saying like when you have that leverage you gotta use that leverage you gotta use that leverage to your advantage you know men value beautiful women i'm not saying that's all it takes i'm not saying that as long as you're pretty oh you can get a husband but sometimes you can't 
But what I am saying is that pretty privilege is going to get you in the door. Before your personality and your character matters, for men, your beauty is going to get you in the door. Your character and your personality is going to keep you there, but your beauty is going to get you a ticket to the dance. You understand what I'm saying? So while you're having fun, while you're enjoying your pretty privilege, be sure to secure a husband. I think a lot of older women should be giving this game to younger women, but for some reason it doesn't seem like they're doing it, at, at least not in the open. At least I don't see it being done. So I'm going to get them this game. Yo, have fun. Have a blast. Use your pretty privilege for, the, for, for great experiences. But don't wait till it's too long. Don't waste your pretty. That is the message of the day. Do not waste your pretty out here. Don't waste your pretty and then start trying to circle back when you are just completely unattractive to men. Because that is the wrong time to start looking for a husband. The time to look for a husband is when you have all the leverage that you can get. All the leverages you can get when you have everything that men are looking for, that's when you look for a husband because that's when you, you can get the best in the market that you can possibly get because you have the best version of you to offer and, and, and the viewpoint of what men are looking for, right? So, yeah, that's my message, man. That's how, that's how pretty privilege can hurt people because they, they sometimes, they just wait too long sometimes and by the time they start looking for a husband, it's like, it's too late. In my next episode, I'm going to talk about what happens when women wait too long because we don't talk about it that enough. We don't talk about that space that a woman can get into because she's waited too long. I've heard people touch on it from just a, the same um, the same angle, but I want to touch on it from a whole bunch of angles. So that episode is going to come on my channel. This is, a, uh, this is an exclusive for We Need to Talk. So thanks for tuning in, and um, I'm going to catch y'all for the next episode, uh, Politely Honest. Peace out.